Hey guys, what's up? Brent Calmer from Blue Water VST. I want to talk to you today about Fast Effects, which is a multi effects suite geared for real time use included in the Electronic Instruments Volume 2 package. Now, if you're like me, you've opened this on a variety of occasions and thought, wow, that looks really deep. Maybe I'll get back to it at some future point. I'm going to show you how to trigger this today, and I think you're going to find that it's a lot easier and a lot more fun than perhaps you thought it was for me. What we're going to focus on is this orange bar here at the bottom, because this is where it all really goes down in terms of the triggering. But first things first, this can be located under uh, Factory Content, Ensembles, Electronic Instruments, and Fast Effects 1.3. Now let's close out the uh, side pane just to give us a cleaner view here. At the bottom we see that we have this row, this horizontal row of 32 squares. There are 32 of them from left to right. And I can click on these and move between them. And you notice that as I do that, if you look at this, look at this position indicator, you'll notice that I move in increments of eight. This is because for each one of these programs, I have eight different kind of sub snapshots that I can trigger. And each one of these is kind of like a different, uh, a different configuration of the multi effects unit. So some of them may take advantage of this freeze function. Uh, another may take a, a advantage of the slice manipulator, the delay and so forth. But another thing that's interesting is that the different programs frequently uh, use different samples. This is a sample based ensemble. So if I open the sample map editor, you see that I have all of these samples in here that uh, go with fast effects and I can audition them in their original state. But let's close this out and get back to business here. So I have my programs here at bottom and I have my uh, kind of slots here at top. Now you see that above these slots are, are letters, Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, and I. This is because in Reactor Standalone at least, these are the keys on your computer keyboard that will trigger these different uh, slots. And so it gives you this real-time functionality of being able to play keys on your, on your computer keyboard and move between these different effects settings. So let's get a sense for how this sounds. I'm going to start my uh, system clock. Now, in this case, I have this bank selected, and I have the second slot over, and this is the effect that's being, uh, that, that is being applied, which is this freeze effect. Now, if I move over to Q, and I'm just going to click on this, you hear that it's a much different sound. Now, here's what's interesting. I'm going to stop the system clock. In, when you're working inside a DAW, what I've found is that there, there is a way to move between the, the programs and there's also a way to move between the slots in real time. This is very cool. So if you press your W or E keys, you will see that you can move between previous and next in the program. So as I press W, you'll see that I move back a program. And that the button lights up to indicate that's what I'm doing. Now, I can move between these very fluidly. And you'll see those are different samples that are being loaded on the fly. Some of these samples are really excellent. Very futuristic. Let's take this one. So now I have selected my program. I'm in position 128. And now to trigger the different slots, I can come down here and use my A through K keys to trigger my different, uh, my different slots. So if I get this going once again, I can move over to the W. That's really chopping things up. And again, I'm just playing keys A through K. So now I can move between banks using W and E. And I can move between my slots using A through K. Really interesting stuff. So that's basically how to trigger this. Now, as I said, in Reactor Standalone, the uh, this will map to your to your computer keyboard, so you will be playing these keys Q through I. But it, what I have found is that in your DAW, you will use again W and E to move previous or next respectively, 
and the keys A through K to move between your different slots within each program. So now in future videos, we may get into uh, ch taking a look at each of these individual uh, units. But now that you're going with this, there's nothing to stop you from loading your own samples uh, in the sample map using the techniques that we've used in some of the other videos and just going nuts. This is so much fun. I I've been playing with this thing nonstop. It's just enormously fun to use. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.